and welcome to another edition of the Rising Legends, our first ever D and D campaign. Just bring out my huge ass personality. Ahem. What? Oh. <laughs> I, of course, am your kind of most beloved overlord, Rudigar of Story, and I to speak. Let's be joined by the flame boy and flyer, Flutterguard 98. Holy majesty! The spirit here, King Hero. Wait, I'm after Flutter this time? What? I don't get this, but, um, uh, okay, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say here. I'm, I'm never second. <laughs> <laughs> I just tell you Our Crimson Fizer, Cody Crimson. Awake this time, and now these people are going to suffer. Uh huh, yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, and finally, our Savage Meme Queen, Ulti. Oh, and of course, we can't forget our, at our DM, Marcus. Insert catchphrase here. <laughs> also, Ulti, please tell me you're there. Honey. So I'll say. It is not to toss a coin to your Witcher. It's toss a fanfic to your ulti. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling you'd bring that up. Yes. Well played. Well played. Bravo. Anyway, um. Thank you. So, uh. So does our so does uh, our DM want to who explain to us uh, what happened and 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 last time? I'm yes. Home yes. Home. Let me just uh, quickly uh, close this and bring up display capture. There we go. A quick recap. Um, uh, outside of the town of Oakhurst, which uh, individual travelers were heading that way, um, the um, combined forces of uh, Rectus Inimicus, a, a Warforged Paladin, uh, Rex Amicus, the bard, uh, Nemea, the mysterious tiefling rogue, and the dragonborn, golden dragonborn wizard, Flare, um, approached the crossroads fortuitously at the same time where they came upon a uh, band of uh, merchants who had uh, almost been slain with one survivor, the lone young human female named Lumia, uh, were being attacked by kobolds. Um, the party dispatched them, um, and Lumia asked for an escort uh, from the group uh, to Oakhurst, which to the, to which they agreed to. Um, we um, take it from, from that point, and and. Um, we need to do a little bit of, before we head to Oakhurst, we do need to do a little bit of maintenance because we did start out with, um, only, um, starting equipment. Um, but I would like to go ahead. I don't want you heading into a town. You've been on the road a bit. So first off, let's make sure, Hey, deal bot. Can yes. you either eat with your mouth, eat with your mouth closed or mute your mic, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, can't deal with the chomping. Um, we need to uh, make sure, one, that your character sheets are up during the game. I know we had a lot of times people's character sheets were not up. Uh, remember, if you have a second monitor, you can pop them out. You can pop them out anyway and then flip back and forth if you need to. But what I would like to do is for everyone to get their character sheets open and to underneath your equipment area, which is... Um, the center column of your of your core tab of your character sheet. Yeah. Um, the uh, there is the the little little boxes to the left in that bottom box. The top ones for copper pieces. The one below is for silver. The one below that is electrum, which we will never use. And the one below that is gold. If you would each put in a hundred gold pieces, I'm going to give you that as a starting amount of wealth. Just Love for gold. miscellaneous uh, expenses you may have prior to starting out. Oh, on wait. Your adventure. Not there. Okay. Equipment. Okay. Now I'm just going to stay quiet until my character is introduced. There we go. If you're looking for it, it should be right. It should be. Um, 
You, you know where the it should be right in your it should be right in the item thing where the saw your items off. It should be five little boxes. I got it. it. Okay. Just making sure on. Just making sure. Okay. So. Oh, okay, never mind. Whoops. So I'm um, missing red right click. Hmm? You click in the box and you should be give you a cursor to be able to type in the amount. Yeah. I've done done that for my character. Okay. There. There we go. I did it just as Sorry, easily. Put in a hundred. Yep. Yes, please. Also, uh, okay. what about our character's health? Um, well, uh, right now your character's health is wherever it was where you left off because oh. we are we are literally right wherever we left off. Um, there are I will. If you want to, I will go ahead and say, if you want to go ahead and bump them up, there's not going to be an encounter between here and Oakhurst. You are not too far from the town. Um, and um, that is fine. If you want to go ahead and put your character sheets up to full health, you will have, before we need to, um, you'll have a long rest at this point. So. All right. Works for me. Now, uh, the question of role play and introducing yourselves and talking at this point um, I'm going to leave this to uh, the group that is on the map right now. Do you wish to have some time to talk with each other, or, or would you, as a group, kind of out of game decision, wish to wait until you get to the town, into the tavern where Nyx would be to start that portion of the night? Hmm. I would. I would go to the tavern. Well, I think now's a good time of any to introduce ourselves. Okay, that's one yeah, vote for okay. tavern and one vote for. Uh, I mean, do it now. If we wait for the ta if we wait for the tavern at least, then we can literally have everybody there. Not need to worry yeah. about like, having to reintroduce uh, ourselves again to essentially another person. Right. Fair enough. So you know you exchanged <laughs> names already last time, so you know yeah. the names you are, and you've from seeing each other uh, perform in combat, you have an idea about where people's general skills and class lie so yeah. we're gonna move on uh the uh for the four that are were here last week uh l when you get to oakhurst lumia thanks you for your uh assistance and she did agree to pay you each a silver and she's not a very wealthy lady but she paid you what she had so for uh rex um rectus uh Nemia, and uh, Flare, you can put a silver gold, silver piece that's two above the one you have a hundred in. Yep. Um, so how and add to your wealth. One. one. She's she wasn't a wealthy lady. She just paid you what she could for your for your thing. And uh, we are going to begin in. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and and hold on, I got something cool too. Um, let me know if this is too loud or if you can hear it. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. No, listen. Notification for Devin me not. Can you hear that at all? Yes, I can hear that. Yeah. I love it. I, I, I can't hear okay. anything. Well, there should be hopefully playing shortly. It's just ambient background music. This is our noise. This is our, this is the uh, Oakhurst. Um, it's, just, it's just a, it's just, it's just a crowd. It's just a crowd, just, basically. Yeah, just ambient sound. So, yeah. um, Oakhurst is the is a small community. I mentioned last time we were heading to. It's a small village. It's about nine hundred residents, including some outlying farms, uh, mostly human. There's a sizable minority of halflings and a scattering of other races. Um, when you get to Oakhurst and you get the lay of the land, uh, I will put this in your journals, folks, just so you have it. This is not a map that would be, uh, let's see, I'll put it in all players' journals. There should be a map of Oakhurst, and I will show it to you now. Oh, here it is. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ah, you uh, you are coming in from uh, at this point coming in from the south. The road you took east meandered up south to Oakhurst, so that's where you're coming into the town. 
uh, up so- new road up up the new road um and you see what's available to you there is the inn is towards the end of the town uh there, there is a general store um Right now, most places, uh, the only things that you see going through town that are currently open as it is getting close to dark, the blacksmith is working a little bit late. Um, you do notice that as you pass uh, in town that there is some people still outside and, and obviously transacting in the general store. And the inn is just starting to get a sizable crowd. Uh, everything else, there's people kind of finishing up their day it's just gotten dark uh the torches and stuff are lit enough that the uh the main road is lit up enough for people to be walking around and walking through so that that is where you're at um what would you guys like to do for the party that just went in there we understand nix is already uh got himself a spot at the end I would say maybe for the night, at least we should head to the inn, at least for the night, and maybe explore the town tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. (laughs) Okay. Also, 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 wait, wait, hold on. Why are you doing it for me? Why what? You you said you're doing it for the night. Why are you doing it for me? You're not a nut. You're not. You're not a nut. You're a palace. I'm making a joke. It's a, it's a different. Yeah, different, but you're not. You are di- not. The different age. class. Different subclass. Um. Okay. So you're the the it's, it, the inn is a uh, you know it's not a large inn. You've been in bigger ones in larger cities, but it's it's sizable enough for the group. Um. Yeah. A lot of a lot of locals uh are obviously uh are working their way into the inn. It looks like it may be like the only real spot of nightlife kind of in a small town like this. Um, so you walk in the inn and, and uh, there's some, some eyes turned towards you, you know, um, are y'all, I'm assuming you're going together since everyone seems to agree that's where you're going for the night. Yeah. Um, uh, a human male is, uh, is behind the bar. Uh, the name of the bar with the sign over it is the old boar Inn. Um, and that's where you find yourself. Um, Nix, where are you exactly in the uh, in the end currently? Can they see you when they walk in? Are you somewhere in the main area? I'll be at the bar. So, of course, at the bar you see you see a you see a dark clad. Well, describe yourself. What do they see when they see Nix at the bar? A darkly clad hood down wood elf drinking a small bottle of wine. <laughs> Did I expect anything else? No. <laughs> okay, feel free. And, what, uh, and, what? and uh, the no, and around his chair is multiple bottles of wine. <laughs> <laughs> so he's had okay, a few. Gilgamesh. match. He, he's had more than a few. <laughs> out of character. Out of character. Okay, Gilgamesh. Fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I look like an archer to you. Anyway, so yeah, I do have a bow. I do have a bow and arrow in my back, so yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. All right. Then. So let's see here. Let's see. Since we obviously would see the, since we always see him at this point, I could probably just walk up and see if I can introduce myself. Because I mean, sure. Mhm. By all, by all means, feel free. All right. Well, obviously, Flair would walk over to Nix and would introduce himself as Flair Scaleheim. Yes, pardon the scale pun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, laddie. Oh, oh, out, 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 char- out of character thing. Uh, and for the and for the audience watching, I currently have a picture of his icon on the screen right here. Yeah. So I have cards. Am I meant, am I meant to be seen in the interior of a bar? Am I meant to just be seen in the, like an image right of now, the... No, there's no interior bar. We don't have. I don't have a map for. Oakhurst does not come with maps. So, um, what you're seeing is just the background for the town. This is all theater of the mind, as they will, until we get into yeah. another part of the uh, adventure here. 
What do you want with me, laddie? <laughs> Old oh, man will have a wee drink on the end of his shift. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to keep it together here, I'm trying. I'll turn around and see the, the ragtag group of adventures. Yeah. Uh, I mean, brings you, what you brings you to this humble little village? I mean, we were just past the... Just we were just past what, are you, what are you doing yeah. in a place like this? Also, I, also, I do not believe it, believe it is it's safe to constantly be drinking like that. Y yeah, but, uh... An elf. I don't really get intoxicated easily. <laughs> it's, it's, an, it's an elf? And last time I last time I heard from him in particular and other sources, yeah, they don't usually get drunk. So he could literally down this entire bar if he's not like it. <laughs> of course, you guys, okay, you guys know I'm not an elf, so I'm absolutely sloshed. <laughs> oh God, just straight up sloshed. <laughs> well, I'm seeing like twenty four different characters right now when I'm looking at this party. <laughs> <laughs> So in other words, the habitat of an average Scotsman. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he does. He does look. Uh, even though he might be sloshed at the moment, he does still look capable as an adventurer. So he might want to try to, you know. So, uh, so, so, when do exactly do we see you in your true form? Because I do have your icon on, on, on in the selection of pictures. So. I do believe that one's pretty well covered, actually. So. I think you could probably show the icon. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that one's probably well okay to be displayed. Okay, and done. Yeah, currently displaying oh the icon. So like out of out of the out of the so thing, I can hear dogs in the background too. That's so amazing. <laughs> it was. Oh, I, 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 actually, actually, I'm glad you said that because. Um, that was in the town. We actually have a uh, so something bad. I else. I can't even hear the ambiance. Hold on, <laughs> you, you, we'll hear something else here in a minute. Because I forgot you're at the end now. So. Yeah. Flair wasn't that laddie. Oh, I mean. Yeah. You know what? Hmm? Are you pretty? Let me join the party. I can do. I can. There we go. Now we get, now we got some some in, in sounds at this or uh, yeah some bar sounds at this point. We got a yeah, fireplace going in there. Yeah. So I I feel so bad. I can't oh, hear the audience. Me, the audience can't. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm out here in the stone so can yeah, yeah, get. Maybe we should oh, consider getting, getting a bot just for, get me to for like the music and backgrounds. Well, right maybe, or maybe after tonight, I can help you, and we can figure out what's going on, so that you can hear the music, I'm, the the sounds yeah. I'm streaming. Fair enough. Yeah, one of the two. All right. All right. So you guys are hanging around the bar, and the uh, the male that was behind the bar uh, kind of sauntered over to you. He's been helping customers, and he he goes up and he goes, uh, "Welcome, travelers. My name is Garen. I'm the owner of this fine establishment. What can I do for you?" We've got food, we've got drink. If you need a couple rooms, we've got some rooms I can rent. What can I do for you? Well, I mean, uh, obviously, Flair, since he's already up at the bar, it'd be a lot easier if he was the one to probably say as well. I mean, since we just wandered into this town, we probably need some, some food would be nice, some drink would also be nice, but a room, God, please, yes. <laughs> well, how many rooms are you needing? Um, how, how are we, how are we handling that? How are we, how are we splitting people up here? If we're splitting them up at all. How are we doing this? Hmm. Don't look at me, I'm not the boss. I mean, I just kind of, I just kind of randomly took, took for, I kind of randomly did this. I mean, um, I mean, do we want to, do we want to split rooms a little bit? Or do we want to just try to like, just fit into like one decently sized room? I'd rather not be sleeping in a room with a guy with 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 someone who could clearly maybe be storing Lully. <coughs> Scotty, <coughs> Scotty. <laughs> okay, then what? We'll then what? We'll to split up a couple rooms, but who's going with who? Oh, the dear boy. What did you just say? That I couldn't hear you. <laughs> fine, you're fine. Anyway. Well, what? We didn't hear you. 
you'll hear on the playback. Now, are, you, are are you guys having this discussion like obviously openly to each other about you know what are we gonna do? Are we gonna yeah split rooms? He he hears you and he looks over. He goes, uh, "Hey, um, you're a little tall for an elf." Looking over at Rex, um, but I do see the instrument you've got there. Uh, uh, can you play that thing? Why yes. We'll make a deal with you. You do no, a, couple, a couple of sets, to, couple of sets tonight for my patrons, and uh, I'll comp the rooms for you and your friends for the evening. Oh, that seems to be a good enough deal. Sure. <laughs> and if you know, and if you play well enough, I'll I'll even I'll even feed the group of you. I'll even make sure you get a, a nice warm meal tonight. <laughs> so I need you, Rex, to make a performance check. Okay. One May moment. The thanks God treat you with honor. Ah. Okay, you need to do a kind of what you did before. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. So, he's like, uh, uh, you know, that's that's okay. He, he's like, I'll, I'll feed you, but, you know, you see a lot of plates out there that are people are eating where there's, like, some nice, like, big slices of, like, meat and steak. And when you guys yeah. settle down into a, into a table, he will, he will bring you out, like, it's basically sandwiches. He's like, here... <laughs> I mean, you know, you're okay, Bard. I mean, we don't get a lot of music here, but I mean, I've heard better. <laughs> I, under I understand. Um, now, it, did you did you guys invite Nix to come sit with you at your table? I mean, if he wants to, he can. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. You're there a couple hours, and the you know the bard's performed, and you're you're sitting around having your meal, and um, you see um, because it's the door is obviously visible for everybody. Uh, yeah. Lumia, Lumia, the young lady who uh, who uh, you helped and hadn't seen, you guys parted ways when she got there. Um, you see her come in and, and go up to the bar, and Garen uh, points points her your direction and she comes over and says uh uh hello my friends and um you as well i don't believe i know you uh i i know you helped me and i i could tell from your uh time on the battlefield saving me from the goblins uh that you're very formidable um, I have something you might be interested in. Um, I was just at the, uh, general store talking to a lady named Carolyn and she was mentioning she had need of help from a band of adventurers such as yourselves. Um, I suggest if that's interesting to you and you want to hear what she has to say, to go visit the village, uh, vi visit the general store uh, when she opens in the morning. I think she might have something that you're interested in. And uh, I want to say thank you again, and I bid you good night. And she right. goes off, and, and she goes off, and she's obviously got a room. She goes off and, and yeah. heads up stairs. Right. Now, is there anything you guys are able, you guys are, are can speak and role play, introduce yourselves if you want to. Um, if you don't want to, you can say when you're ready just to go to bed for the evening. Um, and uh, it's on you. What do you want to do next? I mean, I already uh, already introduced myself, so I'm just going to wait for everybody else. I to introduce myself. Scott, Scotty, your connection is really bad. Yeah. It's a little bad at the moment, guy. Oh, Domo Arigato Scotty Roboto. Domo Arigato Scotty Roboto.
<laughs> oh god. Okay, let's see if that works. Any better? Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, they, I mean, they wouldn't fully have seen what I looked like yet, I don't think, as my character. They would have seen, like, they would have heard, they would have known my name, but they wouldn't have known anything else yet. Right. So I'm probably just gonna. Eh, oh. I'm, I'm assuming since he since it's kind of like the armor, like it's not armor he's wearing, but it'd be more like a magical weird thing. So he probably just takes off like the um, takes off the helmet thing, whatever, just to show like that he's actually not full on human. He's <laughs> part dragon. Oh, so we have a dragonborn in our midst. I suspect it is, it is, it is such. Well, I mean, I mean, it, it was more just, everybody just started calling me it because of, well, the, the, the fire breathing and the, thing. And, and the tail probably gave yeah, it away. The, the, I mean, the, ta the tail kind of... And the tail. The ta the yeah, I mean, the tail kind of just like, the tail's kind of just a major indicator that I'm not a human. I mean, kind of just hangs there. Right. Well, since I introduced myself to you, you already will give my reintroduction to your pals. My name's Max. As you can see, I'm just a humble wood elf. Alright. I make my living as a contract assassin. Hope you don't mind that. A rogue? Hmm. <clears throat> Ah, I know. I, I noticed your lady friend. What of her? Yeah. She's another rogue. It's, a, it's always fine to meet others in our sophisticated business. I mean, let's let's see here. There's there's a there's a, there's a weird looking rogue here, and then there's the cute rogue that's near me. <laughs> I just okay, I have the right mind well. just to start changing my appearance right now, just to fuck with you guys. But nah. Well, I mean, what? I mean, the what? The, the dragon here. What? He's got to. He's got to get. He's got to get something eventually. I mean, Jesus. Like, he, I've been alone for how long now, and I'm just now meeting people. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cry, cry me, cry me oh, a river, oh. river. I'm a fucking. I'm a fucking robot. I can't even do that crap. I mean. That, that what of advice to you for you? What of advice? Other than a shackle, you do not want to have a hold of yourself. Sometimes it's best to just be a in this world. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm a At dragon. She, I'm a dragon. Thing. She's a rogue. I don't. I don't think she's going to try anything. Since she tried anything, I could just burn her. Right. <laughs> but I'm not that evil. Yeah. Speak, speak, <laughs> speak, speaking of, speaking of, speaking of her, 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 was it? It, it, what is your motivation? Dude, are you there? Oh, dude, that's your cue. She, oh god, the androids went into reset mode. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude, honey. Okay, hold on. There we are. <laughs> oh my god. Live recording is awesome. Yes, it is. <laughs> what did what did I say instead of kobolds? Goblins. Goblins. Oh yeah, kobolds. They're this they're you know, they're different entirely. Yeah, those are two separate. That doesn't things. that doesn't mean there may or may not be goblins sometime, but you know. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's just Somebody said goblin. No, Maybe it's foreshadowing. Scotty, please, no goblin slayer jokes. Okay. No. Oh. Is that what you guys hear? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's your. It's your. Yeah. Okay. Scotty, it's her. I turn. see it from the red. Gives it. I see it from the red. Gives it the core. The usual. Yeah. A, ro a, ro a rogue. A rogue. A rogue. The steals not not for herself, but for others. 
curious. I, <laughs> I, I believe the human term is paradoxical. No, I'm just no, saying no. I don't like those who, who overpower those who are weak. See, I, I don't uh, know if it's a paradox. I don't know if it's a paradox or if it's just ironic. <laughs> Rogue with a conscience. Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> I lived for a I, long I, time. I, I, ironic. What what does that mean exactly? Wait, wait, flare was it? Yeah, and it's. I mean, it's 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 quite ironic. You don't even know the definition of ironic because it means it's the opposite we think it would be. <laughs> that, that, what, what 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 does it mean? I I do not know what it means. I, I literally oh, just I literally just said, I said what it was after out of character. I did say what it was after I said it. That it was quite ironic. That's the opposite of what you would that what it's what it normally is. I see. I see. Yeah. Oh god, we got we got a what? robot. We got a what? robot, we got a we got a shitty performing part, we got two rogues and a dragonborn. So, what is this? So, <laughs> this is D D. Welcome. <laughs> yes. Look over at the powder and go, I've never seen anything like you in my travels before, lad. Yeah. You must, you must likely have not. <laughs> I've heard rumors of mechanical humans, but I thought they were meth. As you, as, you, as you can see, that's clearly not the case. I am Rectus Inimicus, but for, but for the sake, sake of being concise, I believe the term is, you, is you may call me Gears. Oh. Yeah, I was never going to pronounce your real name anyway, laddie. I do not speak in that tongue. Do not do, do not speak or choose not to. I just do not speak ancient tongues like that. <laughs> g g given your type, I'm not sure if that is either or, bec or because of lack of knowledge or because you simply choose not to. You're doing right. I, I, I have knowledge in I have knowledge in many subjects, laddie. They're permissible in most situations. I have a knowledge of the anatomical, the anatomical nervous system of the body. I have a knowledge of pressure points, vein locations, instant heart attacks when mixing. You touch me and I burn you. She on the other hand can touch me all she I, wants. I, Wait, what? <laughs> I would, I would, I would advise no, advise no trickery. Free. Re -re oh, guys, you see, we all are very well armed. It is quite quite possible that you would would die in an attempt, attempt to head of some sort of deceit. I mean, no deception. I'm just a very honest rogue. I make a living off of killing. It's and not a pretty living, but it pays the bills. And honest rogue, <laughs> I, I, I'm a proper worker, and I had to do the job quietly. And an honest rogue, I, I believe. The term is ironic. Oh my no. god! Um, yeah. uh, no, that is not oh, what ironic means. That that is, uh, really, I, 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 I thought that was what it meant. Uh, never mind. <laughs> as as you can see, I, I am not well versed in more human and emotions and phrases. As I'm I, a tifo, and then I, even I know you got that wrong. <laughs> While I while I appreciate the feedback, I, I do not appreciate what you call sarcasm. <laughs> no, no, see, no, see, it's that's not what you call sarcasm. That's what you call sass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is a, there is a difference. Yes, there yes, is a heavy difference. difference. What, what exactly is the difference exactly? See, what she just did is sarcasm. What she just did is sass. What she's going, what what I am saying right, what not what I'm saying right now, but I mean, it be it not being night outside is well, you know. I I have no real way to explain that. I can't really explain that that well. Decent effort. I see. Eh. <laughs> I appreciate the effort, regardless. I was a, I I I also, 
Oh, apologies for coming off with like this. If is Rex was it, but I, I was I was swear that bards were better music players than what I. <laughs> Was the information I was given and wrong? Are are bards usually this? I I, I believe the term is mediocre. I mean, gears was it? Every bard has his knights. It's yes. probably just tired. Yes. It must just it it must just be an off night. It must just be an off night. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, you you mean bards command knights? Some kind. <laughs> not in that sense, Gears. Not, yeah, Gears. It's not quite that. It just means he's. At, it just means he's not doing too well today. I mean, that's exactly. over there. But that, I mean, that's. I mean, that's over there. But that's besides the point. <laughs> I, I see. I see. Okay, my character looks down at his hand and kind of goes, "Uh oh." Tries and hides it. Uh, what, uh, what? 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 what, 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 what Nothing. What, 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 what is with the that that reaction? And y usually, when someone says as uh oh, it usually means something in, in has gone wrong in their favor. Oh boy. I think, I think my okay. body's just coming to the devil's echo, and I must retire for the evening. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> right. So do you all wish to retire at this point to your rooms and have your night's sleep? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yes. All right. So the night passes uneventfully. Everyone gets a good night's sleep. Um, for for spell, it's what we can we call a long rest, which is eight hours of uh, uninterrupted sleep. That's important because when that happens, eight you regain all that. you regain all your hit points, which I had you already do. Uh, anticipating it. Um, for spellcasters, which would be Flare and uh, Rex, um, mm -hmm. on your spell tab, um, there is by your first level spells, there is a number of spell slots. Mm -hmm. um, um, the slots total, and they go up to your max. Uh, that's yeah. how many spells you can cast in between long rests. Um, we will talk about short rests later. You will need to probably use those to recover hit points. Um, but the morning has come and you all find yourself down in the main area of the tavern um, feeling feeling bad about, um, about uh, kind of skimping you guys on having a little bit of conscience. Uh, Garen, the, uh, the owner of the establishment, has set has set out some uh, breakfast, just uh, you know, biscuits, bread, some some yeah. sausages, just some things to, to kind of uh, to greet you in the morning. Um, yeah. Where do you wish after you after you enjoy your uh, your morning meal? You go. Where do you wish to head to? Uh, remember, it was the general store, and this is something I'm going to say. I don't care if one or more of you do this, but it might be. A good idea for one or multiple people to be taking some notes because the things I say to you sometimes won't be repeated and you might need to remember it. The person's name that she said you might want to talk to at the general store is Carolyn, and I will put that in the chat so it is available. Okay, so, um, okay out of here. Who wants to take notes? Not it. Not it. Well, oh, that uh, it. No, no one has to. Worm? Depends how you remember what, things. What but... Yeah, what, what is the bookworm? He can do it. Now we are record. We are recording these, so if you want to go back and listen, but you are not going to be able to do that in the middle of us playing a game. So yeah. So for you volunteer tribute. So as next comes down to the dinner table, you notice. The hand that he was covering the previous night is now tightly covered in a black leather glove, whilst the other hand remains basically yeah. bare. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, uh, um, I did this last time. I'm going to do it uh, again. 
uh, because I do appreciate the role play, Nix. I'm going to, on your character sheet, give you an icon for inspiration. Nice. Um, well, well role played uh, during the evening and during the introductions. I appreciate role playing, and I reward it. Um, so, so uh, Nix is down. Uh, breakfast is done. What mm-hmm. do you want to do? Hmm. I mean, since the only thing we know of at the moment is going to the general store for that. Uh, for that. What if I guess I guess you could call it a quest or whatever. We should probably head into there for the time being. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. Oh, catch up with you at the uh, general store. I need to go and uh, pick up my daggers from the blacksmith. Oh, very That's good. When, when did when did the magic user become the leader of this? <laughs> Dance now. Apparently. <laughs> All right. Probably, probably because even and and though Scotty is Scotty is the most uh, experienced here, you're the second most, which means probably the one who knows most about what he's doing. And more importantly, we can trust you more than we can him. <laughs> All right. I'll have you know, I trust and respect everyone. Yeah, internally, I believe everybody is out to kill me. And <laughs> and and, and, us, and us and us and us us he supports my case. Thank you. So yeah, let's let's head down. So you you're all leaving. Okay. So yeah. um as you start uh head out of the tavern, if you look at your the handy dandy uh map of Oakhurst that I uh let everyone see. Um yeah, head out of the tavern, you're heading and and the general store is just around the corner. It's literally the next building, but as you're walking south down the road, <clears throat> you see a very large crowd seems to be gathering around the square and the well in the middle of town and standing on a uh, large crate, you see a goblin around a bunch of people. And there's a lot of commotion, but it doesn't seem like it's anything like people are scared. Uh, You see people waving their hands and like gesturing in the air. And the goblin is holding something up in the air. You can't quite see what it is unless you want to go take a closer look. Oh. Uh, and and, okay. and Nix would, uh-huh. Nix would, Nix will see it better if he were to continue to the blacksmith. <clears throat> Into the blacksmith, I need to pick up my daggers. All right. Cur- curious, what do they seem to be gathered for? I mean, okay. do we want? I mean, do we want to go check it out real quick before we head to the general store? I, I, I believe the term for this. Yeah, is, I'm curious to see what's I, going on. I, 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 I believe the term is divide and conquer. Her, her. Half of us will, us will investigate. Hey, what's going on in the crowd? The other half will go to the store or and seek out out, out this Carolyn. Yeah. So, um... Alright. Alright. What you see as you, get, as you get closer is it is obviously people from what, they're, what you're hearing is people who are bidding on something. And in the goblin's hand, it simply looks like a slice of apple. It's a very bright, like almost too red, red skin slice of an apple. And he's holding it up and he's taking bids from people. Um, and they're they're bidding on it. There's obviously a big commotion. And um, that's what you see. Um, so, as I walk by, I'm going to roll a hearing perception check to see if I can hear what he's they're shouting and bidding on what they're shouting and how much they're bidding. All right. The 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 bidding is is only right now at about twenty gold pieces. All right. But it's slow it's slowly going up. Um so, you can I'm going to try and listen in on what the goblin is saying about the slice of apple hearing perception roll. He's the the goblin says is saying in common, although it is it is kind of of, of broken, and um, the goblin is is saying, "Come, come, one and all, take the magical fruit from the goldiest tree. This fruit will heal. It will cure disease." To the highest bidder, only one, only one a year. 
only want to hear fruit from the guiltiest tree. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, people are getting excited. All right. I knew, my my my, ca my cat just internally thinks. Normally, bid so much on common fruit. Well, I see. Doubt that this is an actual apple. I mean, I am pretty I sure this is probably just a goblin trying to make a quick buck, but yeah, it's a goblin. I don't clearly. I'm not really. I'm not good. Let's let's not try to get involved in this because no. it's a goblin no. as well. They don't usually. They don't usually. Um, they're usually the most upholdy of types. What? What? So so are you suggesting we simply ignore it? He's not causing any bother in the town. All the people are seem I mean, to be doing is wasting money on a simple slice of red apple. I mean, we could just head to the general store for the time being and, and, and come back this way and see if he's still here and maybe see if the hubbub's still as big as it's... Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And as, as, you're, as, as you're watching and discussing it, uh, you hear, any better bitters? Any more bitters? Going, going, God. Sold. Sold to this gentleman up front. A fine farmer you are, sir. Sold for a hundred gold pieces. And he takes a bag of gold. From the uh, the farmer that was up front, very happily. Right. He takes it, wraps it up for him, gives it to him, puts it in his, in his pouch, and takes a bag of gold from the farmer that obviously was the high bidder. And the goblin uh, takes the gold and walks off down the old road. Uh, and next, as he's walking towards the door, the entrance to the blacksmith is just going, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, that guy did... Curious. Yes. It, it, is it natural to find amusement in, the, in, in people being deceived of some kind? Right? Is, is that well, just the mean... thing that, that rogues tend to do? Well, I mean, anyone can find enjoyment in someone getting scammed out of 100 gold pieces for a simple apple slice. Yours was it. Uh, you just do it. No Getting for just, from people, on the other hand, that could be useful. Yes, allow me to give you a little advice. This world is definitely full of black and white in very many grey areas. I just happen to skirt along the grey areas and find amusement in anything I see fit. <laughs> Right. And since since you are still in the general area of the town square, the yeah. you see the crowd disperse, and uh, anyone who would like to, for reasons that will become known uh, potentially, uh, roll a perception check for me. All right, let me see. There it is. Yes. Okay. Perception. Oh my Jesus Christ, Juan! Jesus! <laughs> okay, we're the natural 20s. Okay, um... Alright. Which is perception again? If it's it's in your skill section, it is on... It should be right below nature. Below yep. nature and right above performance. In your uh, skills tab. You see your uh, saving throws tab down that second box below it. It's sh it's right below nature. It's, a, it's an al it's an alphabetical order, so that makes it nice to find easy to find. That too. <laughs> yep. Ah, if you're looking on your you got it. He got yep. it. Yep. All right. All right. <laughs> so um, <laughs> apparently, uh, Mia, who can see uh, colors that no one else can see, uh, with that perception <laughs> roll. Uh, and and uh, also, um, Flair, yep. uh, notice the the farmer that won going over uh, really to uh, kind of over to the building that's just to the north, a little side building that's to the north of the uh, square. And you see him approach uh, what looks like as they as from the resemblance. Obviously, you see his. Uh, uh, a, a young girl, like probably, I don't know, maybe ten years old, uh, but she's sitting in what looks to be a um, almost like a wheelchair. It's 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 she's obviously is is infirmed, um, and what appears to be the farmer's wife is is there as well. Um, he they're very excited when he approaches, um, and the little girl is is just clapping, and he 
hands her uh, this apple and helps her put it to her mouth and eat the apple slice. And very soon after, you notice she starts to move a little better, and then she stands up. Wait. The, the and begins was... and and begins to walk. Wait, the apple slice was real. Hmm. Cool. So now, now whether whether you two want to share what you noticed with the rest of your party, you can. But this was seen by uh, Nemia and Flair. I mean, next well, I mean, probably since next rolled a twenty perception. Well, I mean, you're far What'd you're you... probably farther away at this by this time though. Um, you'll be able to see it, but uh, full transparency, the perception roll with the crowd and everything was fifteen. So that's why the 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 two that rolled above that saw what happened. Me and Alti not Hero because he rolled a 14. I'm sorry? You're yeah, 15, 15 was the DC on that. So it was 15 or above to notice that was happening. Uh, again, because there's a crowd of people that are kind of milling around and dispersing. So it's not like it's yeah. an empty square in there. So, mm -hmm. um, All right. So next, you're, you're going to pick up your daggers. Uh, the rest of the group, are you continuing into the general store? Yes. Uh, yes. Was, uh, huh. mm. So the apple. All right. So the apple actually worked. Interesting. Mm. That was that was something to be seen. My, since my understanding of this world from being a life is seven I stuff was, I, was, I was I was not aware that goblins could be honest. I believe the term is. Well, Neither I mean, was I. That's a very, that's a very rare sight. Most goblins that you will see are never that nice. That just happened no. to be a rare case of. Well, just, let, let's let's don't view it as completely altruistic. He walked away with a hundred gold pieces. Um, he didn't that give too. the apple away. So yeah, that too. Um, mm. all right. As not, as the um, go ahead. Sorry. So walking up to the blacksmith. Uh, okay, now this is where the part I don't know if it's a male or female yet, so damn it. I missed part of that. Yeah. Basically, next is going to walk up to the blacksmith, hand over a sheet of paper to say he's here to collect his daggers. And he. And Blacksmith obviously goes like into the back where he's stored the weapons he's worked on and brings the daggers out to you. And um, <clears throat> they were, I'm assuming they're just probably what being service sharpened. Uh, Good. Um, I need a sharp and, edge for what I need to do. And he goes, These are easy. You won't find, you won't find a sharper edge of this side of, uh, the, of the old ravine. Do fine work, good sir. These will be good. To, these will be put to good use. Well, knowing knowing what, um, and he kind of leans in. Uh, group, you uh, run with, if you know what I mean. The 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 guild. Um, I have no doubt. It's me. Some of the contracts I take, even I wonder. Where they pull them from? Seem to be a right pain in the ass. <laughs> Thank right. you for your work, good sir. You are you are more than welcome. Please, by all means, come back if you need any servicing of your weapons. That's fine. Group, group I hope we we'll need them sharpened again. Group in the heading into the. Uh, General store. It's uh it's morning. There's uh not a lot of people in yet. A few a few patrons perusing. Um, and behind the counter you see um, looks to be a fairly well-to-do uh human uh woman. She's older. Um, she has gray hair and she's definitely uh um not not old but definitely at least middle-aged. Um, that's standing behind the counter, obviously uh helping customers and what have you. So. What do you want to do? All right. Well, since we came in here to obviously see what the, the what was I'm trying to remember the girl the girl's name that told us to come in here. Uh, Carolyn. Oh no, uh, Lumia. Lumia. 
Yeah, Lumia. Here. Since Lumia told us to come in here, I, um, I'm going to obviously have Flair walk up to uh, to Carowin and ask her. Uh, ask That's her the name what, for the. Yeah, ask her why Lumia wanted us to come here. She says, "Oh well, uh, Dragonborn. We don't get many of your kind around here. Uh, yes, um, Lumia was was." Well, the intent initially was to to bring me several barrels of wine to sell out of the store on consignment, um, and poor lass lost her brother and her uncle in the attack. Um, but she did say to me that you know it was only due to you and your group here that her life was spared from the kobolds. So I thank you. Her family makes very good wine; it sells quite well. Um, I'm hoping that I gave her a little uh, gold on credit to attempt to get back into her business. Um, don't worry. Uh, Danny looks. She looks at the rogue, like obviously knowing like kind of what a rogue looks like. She says, "Don't worry." Yes, I've definitely got uh, uh, enough interest on that loan to uh, make up for my troubles. However, your combat prowess is what is. Uh, interesting to me. Um, you see, I am Carolyn Hercreel, and I will spell that for you. Okay. Uh, um, obviously, okay. you're going to want to get it. Excuse me, walk in the door. So, what have I missed right. whilst I was away picking up my. So, so you guys, yeah, you, that's fine. Nick, Nick's, Nick's has got his stuff and comes in the room. Uh, yeah. I am Carolyn Hercreel. My family is a. A uh, fairly well-known merchant family in these parts. Um, however, uh, my younger brother and sister, Talgan, I'll put that in there. Obviously, Flutter, you better be keeping notes of this. <laughs> Take notes, Flutter. And Talgan and Sharwin. Okay. All right. Um, uh, we're part of a uh, party that went to explore the Sunless Citadel, and they have not returned. They went and delved into the Sunless Citadel a month past, and they and I haven't seen from them again. Uh, I think so. They're part. They're. Please uh, go on, uh, um, and I, I, I'm not sure what you are, but. Well met. Um, I, I am a war for, for paladin, and and by your tale, I am assuming that your offer is for us to travel to the Sunless Citadel and attempt to, attempt to find out out what happened to them and, if possible, bring them back. Quite astute, paladin. If you can find right. and return the two lost members of my family, or if the worst has happened, at least return the gold signet rings, rings that are worn by my brother and sister. I'll reward you 125 gold pieces per ring for each who exactly, of you. Who exactly is in charge of this citadel? Uh, yeah. The citadel has been in ruins for as long as anyone here can remember. Oh. Um, so in his next year's dimension of gold, his ears pick up. I'm interested. <laughs> Remember, remember, or, 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 or rogue, oh, oh, she said for us to return the rings, not keep them. Oh, I intend to return the rings. I do not value materials over wealth. Ah. I, I, am, I, I suspect it as such, but I am also aware where there's a possibility of selling materials for wealth. And for your question about the the Sunless Citadel. No one is really sure what it once was, but legends hint that it once served as the retreat of an ancient dragon cult. Oh. Woo! Uh, hey, dragon boy. As, you know anything about as, I, as I was saying, if you if you can return the signet rings, I will pay you each 125 gold piece per ring that gets returned. However, if you are able to bring back my brother and or my sister in good mind and body, I will double that reward. 
I mean, mm. just for, just for the sake of just for the sake of bringing people back, like we probably should do this just so we can potentially try to at least reunite. That's a lot of gold coin. I I I agree. I agree. Me with me with me with Flair's sentiment, and he and he clearly be he's clearly one of the very few. You know, this you know, this group who group who has the best intentions in mind rather than rewards. I mean, I, I mean, the reward I, it, the reward I is have nice. Of good but... intent, excuse me. I mean, the reward is nice, Next but it's more raises his head and hands gears a sheet of paper. What, this what is the is, contract is I have all people who work with me sign. If I make a contract to bring people back alive. I bring him back alive. I'm a man of my word, and don't you dare insult my honor. <laughs> for, 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 forgive, forgive, forgive my, it, my misinterpretations and and throw, throw But I believe, that, but I believe the human term is actions speak louder than words. I mean, forg forgive the forgive the literal gearbox here. I mean, he he's literally going off of base definitions alone. He doesn't really know what. Uh, Look at here. Gearbox. Does actions speak louder than words, good sir? Then if we do enter combat, I will show you that my actions speak clearly. So we, uh, so we ready to... Voice, Nexie's voice suddenly deepens to a very gruff tone. <laughs> to the usual elegance of the voice he uses. Can't believe, can't believe I almost forgot to ask this. But um, would you know, would you happen to know which direction the citadel is in? Oh, absolutely! If you take the old road out of town, um, you should see signs of the Sunless Citadel about seven miles down the old road. The old road skirts a deep ravine, but you should see evidence of the citadel when you approach. All right. So we will we will be on our way then, and we will hopefully return with the two people that you are asking for. I thank you very much. Now, feel free to shop around if there's anything that uh, you wish to purchase to um, assist you on your journey. Right. Um, I do have a special, and it's really just for people that I, you know, like and know and and are helping me out mm -hmm. um i do have and she kind of goes behind the counter and pulls out a, a a box that has um like red ish looking potions in bottles she goes i have these these are potions of healing now they're 40 gold pieces each the normal price is 50. So if anyone wishes to purchase these, I have these. I have other supplies. If anyone needs rope or any other miscellaneous items, um, just let me know what I can do for you. Um, so I'd actually like to purchase one of those healing potions because they will probably come in handy later. All right. Uh, you may put into your inventory one healing potion and deduct 40 gold. I that's what I already did because I'm way I am definitely used to doing this <laughs> this part. Okay, and there we go. Take two potions. You can never be too careful. Hands over eighty gold. I mean, does All right, anyone else, does anyone else want to buy some potions as well? Hmm. She has plenty for you to buy as much as I mean she has a it's a crate full, so of course. I'm good. Okay. I, will, I will perhaps take perhaps take one, take one, one in case of emergencies. Yep. Okay. Feel free to deduct your gold. Yep. And do the... Okay. Uh, so where do I add a uh, healing potion? Do remember how you added the? Uh, did Did you collect any of the items from no. uh, from session from the? From then no. Okay. Uh, then go down. So I will help, I will help you out wait, wait, at wait, the wait, bottom I, of I, your. I see it uh, underneath human uh, hemp hemp and rope and and rope. I could, ah, I see here. Uh, healing. See a little motion. Yep. Okay. Uh, care to see that? Did I do it correct? I will look and see. Um, that is correct. All right. 
Is there anything else the party wishes to purchase? Um, well, you know, just for the sake of asking in here, what, else, what other fine wares do you have in this, this general store? Uh, you look around and, 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 I mean, you see a lot of ordinary things. I mean, she's got, it's pretty much, um, she's got like pittons for climbing. She's got, you know, small hammers. She's got, um, like some ball bearings. There's like some small flasks that have uh, oil and some that are uh, colored water. She has, you know, whistle, chalk. And just if you think it, you might need it. I'll yeah. consider that it's here. How about that is really what we're saying. She's got gadgets, okay. she's got gadgets and gizmos of plenty. Okay. Does she, she have... Has. I would assume she had a hammer, about ten nails, and I'll take one thing of chalk. Okay. All of that would cost you um, maybe a silver, so she'll just... You can deduct that silver. Okay. okay That's um, uh, I, not... Uh, I am planning ahead because I, I know way too often... There is a need for a hammer, some nails, and other stuff, and I know that for a fact. Stop! Hammer time! <laughs> of course. God damn it. And then one more. Uh, um, a qu question. Um, is there anything in, in there that would be useful for, uh, for Warforge Paladin? Um, I mean... Really, what would what would you be looking for? I mean, um, is there any is there any weapons or such in such in here that are better than my current than my current loadout? No, she's not a she's not a weapons person, and weapons at this point would cost you more fair, than fair what you would have. Right, right, right. Then, then, uh, right. then, then I'm then I'm good. Are there any? Does she have anything for a bard? She may have some music oh. she's free to practice with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Perhaps you can take some sort of music sheet to practice your lack of skills, bard. <laughs> Out of cast idea, but um, really, right now. Basic starting equipment from the class should be enough to keep you going for a while before you have to buy stuff. Alright. Thanks. Thanks for letting yeah. me know. So, also, uh, one other I love how Hey, 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 Flutter, Flutter's bard here. <laughs> uh, I mean, the bard will have his due, I think. Just, uh, you know. Eventually. Uh, at, Eventually. Yeah, as I... As I said to uh, in uh, in the channel to the 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 rogue earlier, be careful upsetting the one of the few people we have that can heal. Um, yeah, you never you never know when you're gonna need it. Um, also, to, also, out of character from the yep. bard video you posted, Flutter, just be careful you don't confuse slaying witches and bedding bitches, or slaying <laughs> bitches and wedding witches. Don't get those confused. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so I not assume not that... It's not as we need to keep him on a leash. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I all right. so, we're pretty... I would assume I, other than maybe pick up stuff for Ben here. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, I'm going, I'm going to give you a... Because uh, I am calling it right now a five to seven minute quick bio break. So I'm going to step away. If you need to go bathroom, uh, drink, whatever, now is time to do it. If you want to think about what you might want to buy before you leave the, um, yeah, the general store, that will be the time to do it. And I'll check in on you when I am back. Giving me like about five. All right. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna get myself some more food for, 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 for the audience. We're gonna grab some. We'll see here. Okay, I'm going to okay. go to something real quick. I'll be right back. Good. No. Okay. I see Diablo already knows not to trust the changeling. Clearly. I don't trust you already, Scotty. 
Okay, so yeah. for this segment, I am on to episode 14 of JoJo. Yeah, but allow me to read you off the personality I've got from building this character. <laughs> Think anyone who's nice to me is hiding evil intent. I will never fully trust anyone other than myself. That's my basic yeah, my personality. Mm -hmm. It is subject to change. She's been in Monday Python Amazing and get my outrageous French accent. So yeah, I'm all done with the... Uh... Okay, so yeah, I'm on to Battle Tendency and I'm on episode 14. So anyway, anyway, uh... Hey, Gavin, I awesome, okay. Oh, 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 by, oh, by the way, uh, Altsy, uh... What's your thoughts on the latest stuff involving New Soldier, a.k.a. New Soul Shite? You know, the, you know, well, the, the well, proud I... repaint of Guy Sorg? Oh, okay, uh... And I don't really know what way, uh, way to it, one way or another, so it's just like... Uh. Mm -hmm. It's a case of, oh, you were decorated. I don't like it. <sighs> Deal, we'll put the recorder down. What, 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 what are you talking about? Huh? I'm making a joke about the second doctor. Oh. Uh, <sighs> what the fuck is that? Where's my mental? I need to find a pair of nail clippers. Uh, I, I love how the dragon board is the one who just immediately just took charge after like five seconds of knowing these people. <laughs> yeah. Well, you certainly can't, can't leave the emotionless robot in charge, otherwise, you'd right, just be wondering. Morning, mm -hmm. Well, the thing was, though, usually I'm not. Usually I'm not the front. Usually I'm not the front man for most uh, for most groups. I'm usually in the background. I, I just well, didn't like. Well, congr well, congratulations! This is, and there's a first for everything. I mean, I just I didn't think I was gonna even I, like. Literally, when we first got in, when we first started doing stuff, I didn't even think I was gonna. I just said something, and it's like everyone agreed with it. I'm like, what? <laughs> so 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 I wait 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 wait. Uh, if you didn't expect yourself to be the leader, who did you expect it to be? I, I just didn't expect it to be me. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, who, well, who did you expect it was be, gonna be, huh? I uh, I don't really know. I, all I know is that I just didn't expect myself. That's all I know. Okay, okay. Well, guess around the room. Who did you think was going to be the leader? Well, let's see here. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be the emotionless gearbox. I'm gonna say that much. Sorry, yell, but uh, yeah, you're kind of a gearbox at the moment. I'm a robot. What and do you it, expect? It's definitely not going to be the bard because no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah. wait. Actually, wait. It practically had to be me. We either had a most of this gear box, a bard who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, or two rogues. Hey, just because what? I'm also a hey, just because I'm also a skeleton doesn't mean I can't lead. Well, I'll say yeah, one thing. Pretty... Well, I'll say one thing for sure, Ulti. You're not. You'll, you're, there's no way in hell you're hell you're gonna be second in command. Well, well, okay, fair see, enough. See, here's the thing, though. That that's the. Um, that's if um. That that's if I that's if um I that's if I say a lot though, because obviously like she might end up becoming my second in command. Yeah. Oh, calm your cat down. Oh come! Oh come on! Come on! On. On. Clearly, your second away ambition command should be some someone else, like me. You're an emotionless uh, box. What makes what makes you think I'm gonna want you being the one back reacting in my ear every five seconds, huh? Because uh, because I have the most most logical whole decision making, and and I and I'm one of the very few who does this stuff out of the goodness of his. Is of his, well, for lack of a better term, heart, while everyone else seems to just do it for the reward. Yeah, but see, the thing is, though, I have, I have she's not doing it just for the reward. She's not doing it just for the reward. She's doing it because she's trying to give to weaker people. Yeah, I'm making goals so I can give to others. Yeah, 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 yeah but <laughs> here's the thing.
<laughs> Again, actions that speak louder than words. So naturally, if a like, if a rogue says, says they're trying to be noble, well, of course there's going to need to be proof shown that they are noble first. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you know, I find it funny that the second I bring up the fact that I, the second I bring up the fact that I'm the leader, everyone else just goes crazy on who's gonna be second in coming. <laughs> Well, of course, it's, of course, Small it's the next. It's, it's, it's the next logical dilemma. Well, the thing is, though, it, it'll it'll be it'll more or less be decided who's second in command by who can actually like prove it more than anything. Ah, oh, oh, so it's competition, huh? It's not, it's not a straight. You up want proof of my? You want proof of my loyalty? Sign this sheet. <laughs> what? Hold on, let Jen, me read. You said you want to actually speak louder than words. Sign this sheet, and I'll make sure me, everything is done out of the kindness of my black rotting heart. Hold on, let me let me read the fine print. Scotty will not care if you die later. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I excuse me, Flair. I do not believe my name is Scotty. It says Nex will not care if you die later. Okay, that, that still works. That still works, though. <laughs> The joke still fits, man. The joke still fits. Yeah. He does make a point. He does throw out points. Yeah, it's a point. Yes. No one ever, nobody ever looks at the fine print on this sheet. God damn it. Well, that's what I did. Because I'm, I mean, I'm apparently the leader here, so I got I have to read the fine print. <laughs> I am back and ready if we're ready to continue. Everybody's hang here. On, hang on. All Let right. me grab a drink real quick. I got okay. food, well, in, I got so food in the microwave, so if you guys hear a sudden noise, no, no, no. question it. No, we'll wait till everybody's ready to go. I, I don't think I'd going that long and not having a quick break for everybody is not yes, fantastic. Yeah. So we'll yeah. we'll do our thing. All right, we'll be right back. Well, you don't know no longer trust me because I just showed them a contract with a lot of fine print. <laughs> Yeah, he 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 tried to he tried to pull the thing of like just so sign this sheet. I read the fine print. Nix will not care if you die later. <laughs> Actually, hold on. if you die in battle, oh, I will make sure you're buried and have a nice funeral. Also, this contract does include dental. <laughs> uh, it's simple. Back. I take I take the crowbar out of my thieving kit, put it in between the teeth and go. I didn't think that cat is fine dental dental care. The evil times I didn't have anesthetic. And back. Mm -hmm. I've returned again. Nice. We actually we actually had that pretty well timed, y'all. And as soon as you got back, I got back. <laughs> Timing. Yeah! Yeah! Also, right. uh, also, uh, currently, Dad, uh, you'll love this. Currently on the screen, I have the intermission gift from Monty Python going on. Oh, that's funny. And, and, and I had the intermission mission music from Monty Python playing, but, uh, I stupidly forgot to remove the image slideshow thing, so all they could see was part of that gif and, uh, the image of the Dragonborn. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsies! So, is that what the is that what the Frenchman went when he said "fetchy the marsh"? He meant "fetchy the flare." And it's not real. It's not really a competition for who's coming second. It's mostly just like a, it's mostly just gonna be. A, it's mostly gonna be based off the things that I do. So. Also. Also, uh, so, your name is Flair, yes? Yes. Would your first name happen to be Rick? Woo! How did I know? <laughs> no. God damn it. I will, I will burn you alive for that joke. How did I know? It was too obvious not to make. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let, let me get my food. What's wrong? Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, you wanna know what the thing is? That is an exact reaction I expected from you, hero. Wait, you expected a burn joke? <laughs> I expected you to get pissed off, yeah. 
Yeah, also for the record here, you can totally trust me. No. Well, see, here's the thing. I got a ham. I got a hammer for a reason. Wait, wait, I didn't just get it for the nails. Wait, wait. I can be totally trustworthy when I want to. I'm gonna okay, box on okay. the head. <laughs> Next wait, is gonna come wait, over wait, to you and we can Wait, 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 wait. Here, did, did you intentionally just grab a hammer so you could box someone on the head? That's half the reason, yes. <laughs> yes, I bought a hammer, ten nails, and some chalk. Just like a box one that has a hammer. Yeah, totally. That's the only reason I picked up a hammer. <laughs> Let me walk over to you. Start... Yeah. Okay. Next is going to come up to you and start speaking in thieves' cant. Okay. Hey. Which you can understand. Yeah. Oh, oh. what? What are all oh, I'm saying? Oh, is... um. Okay. So here's the thing. I'm going to let you. Uh, I because I explained this last time uh, about roll twenty, uh, uh, Scotty. So out of character here. But if you want to actually say things to her privately. You can do uh, in the chat window. You can do forward slash W, and then a space, and type in uh, Nemia, and oh, you'll see it. the name come up. And then you can put in whatever message, and it will, will do a whisper just to her. If you want to do your thieves can't thing completely uh, privately, because she can't understand you if you say things. You can say I'm saying something, and thieves can't. So they know you're saying, like, Thieves Can't's weird. It's like a code. Like, you say, um, hey, look at that boy playing the flute on the bench. And what it really means is, hey, let's go rob that bank over there. Like, it, it's that's kind of how that <laughs> stuff works. The, no, that, that's actually how this works. That's actually how ridiculous oh, this is. No, but oh, 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 we have the classic, oh, time you stuck down the well, meaning, oh, we have to go break that guy out of jail again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, speak, 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 it gives a day, speech can't. All right, are we all ready? Yeah, Ulti, are you still getting your stuff? No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, I just gotta make sure I do this. Right. Did anyone want to buy anything else from the general store before I, you're continuing? I'm assuming you're going to the old road. Yes, we're going yeah. on an adventure so, to a citadel. You're going. All right, mm -hmm. so it's 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 uh, you know, at this point mid morning, so you've plenty of light and and travel. It's uh, it's near the summer solstice, so uh, it's it's fairly warm enough and but not overly so. And the old road passes to the east of a narrow ravine. Uh, as the road close at, at the road's closest approach to the cleft of the ravine. Uh, once you've traveled about seven miles, you see several broken pillars where the ravine widens. Two pillars stand straight. Two of the pillars stand straight, but most lean atop a sloped earth. Others are broken, and several have apparently fallen into the dark depths. A few similar pillars are visible on the other side of the ravine. A sturdy, knotted rope is tied to one of the leaning pillars on the side of the ravine. And descends down. Hmm. Okay. Now then. you can, you guys can investigate things. You can. What do you want to do? Hold on, let me see. Have to investigate. A bunch. Okay. Um, let me pick up a roll paper. An, roll, roll, roll an investigation check there, Mia. Okay. We just lost okay. somebody. Where Flutter go? Uh, I was just refreshing because um, the map hasn't changed at all. It hasn't. Oh, okay. It hasn't changed yet. It hasn't nope. changed yet. Dum dum. <laughs> now give me gum gum. All right. You notice. Oh, you notice that uh, in the area around the pillars, you, that this area has hosted many small campfires. Some as recent as a month ago. And that someone went to uh, some great effort to hide the evidence of these camps from a casual uh, scrutiny. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go over and inspect the rope for any signs of flesh burn or marring. 
the ropes look the the ropes look uh, sturdy and uh, fairly new. Um, Wait, you, uh, back, guys. It, 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 it definitely looks like uh, by its condition, it couldn't be tied there any more than probably two or three weeks ago. Um, right. You yeah, you right, as right. you look right. as you look down the ravine, uh, you you also see. There's older and very weathered handholds and footholds that can be carved into the cliff face. Um, they're smaller than you would expect. Uh, you don't know if that's from the weathering or if they were smaller when they were created. Um, the rope does seem sturdy. If you pull on it, it feels like it is would bear weight. Uh, fine. Um, and it, it feels like a safe and secure rope. And it is knotted, obviously, with the intent to be used to climb down. Right. Precautionary method. Pick up a pebble, drop it, and try and judge the distance. Doing persuasion. <laughs> As you look down, um, actually, that would be perception, but it's okay because you can see down. Uh, you can see that it... it it goes down, the rope goes down about 50 feet to a, uh, looks like a, a sandy ledge that is uh, jutted up um, from the bottom of the ravine. But it's about, it's about a 50 foot climb down the rope. Oh, I really I should, I, I know what spot, I know what spot I should have taken right now. Could have solved this whole issue right now. Hmm? Did I fall? Could have used feather fall. Oh. Right. Oh well. Next straps on these black gloves. I'll see you guys down there. Shh. Okay. Uh did we lose somebody? Uh no, he yeah. got flooded just... for an update. So he came oh, back. Oh came back. back. Got it, yeah, got it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um are are the rest of you following Nix? Nix is descending the rope. Yes. I'm going to follow after him. Yep, I'll follow after her. <laughs> I, I, I guess I'm follow, I guess we're playing follow, following the leader, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the order then would be Nyx is going first. Who was going behind Nyx? I'm going behind Nyx. Okay, and who's going behind Amia? I am. All right, and... <laughs> Uh, do we have Rectus or Rex going after that down the rope? Probably the best for as for Rex to go next, and for the big Warfork to go last in case. For the big yeah, metal because awesome, yeah, because if because if you fall, you're taking everybody down with you. Um, mm -hmm. but oh, you yeah. but you all right. So um, <laughs> you have um. Uh, uh, as you descend down, and right now I'm going to move, I'm about to switch maps for you guys, but I am going to put you in the climbing order uh, with. Um, with uh, here, so this should refresh, refresh the thing and you should be on top. Does everyone see the map? Hang currently? on, hang on. Uh, map should have changed. Uh, yeah. It's black. It's black. Yeah, I see. I have, yeah, black okay, screen. It's all, all black for me right now. I'll give it a moment. Uh, okay. I'm wondering if this screen has what we lovingly call... No, it says Fog of War is not enabled. Okay. Okay, weird. Hold on. Let's see. All right, let me uh, give me a moment, players. So, if any guys were noticing when he put on the gloves for climbing down, next his hands are oddly pale white compared to the rest of his body. Ah. <clears throat> We're talking chalk, bone, albino, white. 
All right, I'm going to do this and see if this shows you guys the map. It's a reveal. Maybe there is fog war on there. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to move the map back. Tell me if you guys see this, the one place you were just at. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. And yep. now you see the other place? Nope. We see the address. Still black, right? Okay. Yep. See the other. We are going to turn this off. We're gonna we're gonna turn turn that off, and we're gonna turn on. Do you see it now? Mm, no. Nope. Mm-mm. All right. Yeah, I still can't see anything. This is weird. Okay. Yeah, we. All right, hold on. Oh, uh, oh, excuse me. How about how about now? No. Nope. Still mm. black screen. Mhm. Interesting. Oh. All right. Let me. There we go. Now I see. Now. Nah. I, I still don't see it. I don't see it still. So. What did you do for? Give it a moment. Maybe it's just taking time. No, I didn't do anything different when you said this saw the map. So maybe it's just taking a moment to load. So if anyone else sees it, please let me know. And maybe if you don't see it in a minute or two, hit uh, just refresh your the browser tab that it's in and see if it. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna, gonna refresh. We're gonna refresh. We're gonna see if that. Yeah, we're gonna refresh. We're gonna see if that fixes it. Refreshing. <laughs> Refreshing the map. <laughs> Which means you'll probably also have to open your character sheets again when that happens. But yeah, that's just part of that. Right. That's real. That's not that big a deal for me to do. Oh. Ah, there we are. Uh, I see it. There we go. Wait, wait for it to reload. Wait for that to finish all loading in the tab. Wow, so many stairs. <laughs> so many stairs, so little time. <laughs> What 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 I get the feeling that you know that Scotty here will be like the one guy recently where you someone who says it's lo- has has there's so many stairs, there's a long way down. Whoa! And just push the ah! stairs. <laughs> Why I feel that would be he the kind he the he the kind of per- he would be the kind of person that would do that. Am I wrong, Scotty? Yeah. No, you're not wrong. Cool. Well, I mean, that's a lot of stairs. I'll see you at the bottom. Push. <laughs> 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 Everybody loves a slinky, 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 slinky. Uh, what the hell? Oh. Uh, what's going? What's going on with your, prof- with your profile pic? Hey, Gol- hey Uh, me? Uh, me? Oh, wait, oh. wait. Uh, uh, oh. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you've got you got your voice enabled in oh. World Twenty. Oh. Uh, okay. The go if you go to the uh, the cog on the top right. You can scroll down and you can say you want to broadcast nothing to others. It's down towards okay, the bottom yeah, of okay, the so it's, it's, under it's, game settings. There you go. Nothing. There you go. No, nothing. 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 Uh, all right. Um, you, um, when you get to the bottom, of the uh, rope and step off. You are on a sandy ledge that overlooks a subterranean gulf of darkness to the west. The ledge is wide but rough. Sand and rocky debris, bones of small animals cover it. And a rough hewn stairwell you see zigs and zags down the side of the ledge descending into darkness. There's enough time for um, Nyx to uh, get his footing and get on the ledge and move off in time for uh, Namiya to get on the ledge when the noise of your arrival alerts the attention of three <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, uh, Giant uh, rats. Rats. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Um, 
and and I need. Um, I, I, uh, I, I, we're gonna I do this my each. Icon. Uh, you can't. Can everyone else move their characters? Uh, hold on, very quickly. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you scroll over a little bit from where you, where you can currently see, you should be able to. Uh, should be able to see it. So, uh, the closest I can do is hey, make a blue box. Hey, I the closest I can do is make a, is make a blue box. Hey, uh, Nick, remember when you said that uh, rugs need to stick together and whatnot? <clears throat> All right, so here's how this is going to work, folks. So, it's, can anyone else move their not move their thing? I can't move mine. I can move. Can you guys? No. Okay, let's see. If I can, can I move mine? Yeah, I can move. Yeah. So I can do that, and then I can okay. I can move. Ha, why, why I can't like I, to why move can't it, move it. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> she likes to. Can you move see it. yours? <laughs> All right, so, Dealbot, do you see it now? Can you move that token? Uh, now is your are you it, do you ha do you moved, have it the moved, it just moved on its own I I didn't move it at all I yeah. moved it I moved it thinking maybe it was off this because it was off the off the side of the map it wasn't ah. do you have in the top uh little uh the t the toolbar to the left of the screen in the top left do you have the arrow as the as the blue selected tool currently yes but it's is still it not letting me move. move. When you click on it, does it do anything? Does it show anything? Nope. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, because Matt may be on me. Let. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna let's see. Uh, no, that should be you. Um. Oh no. Nope. I uh, don't know. I dragged it from the thing. It, you're right. It is. It is a, a issue. I can fix it though. Um, I don't know why it did not um, show your thing. But give me a moment. I can fix it. I drug it right from the my journal thing here, so I don't know why I didn't do that. But it was having issues with the thing as there well. There we so. go. Now I, I I think I can I, I I can move it now. Yes yes yes. Thank you thank you. And um, I'm going to assume, looking at this, that uh, Rex probably can't move his either. So nope. give me a moment. That's you'll be able to. In, in a mo, you'll be able to, because I am correcting it right now. Weird. Apologies. Oh, so, yeah, I don't know, I don't know why. Me. But there we go. Uh, and and Nick, Nick's, can you move yours? I bet you can't. Hang on, when it comes to I know you. I, 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 have a joke. I have a joke. I can use here. Oh, oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Everybody should have. All right. However, I'm moving you back because this That's is the right. way things were as you guys are coming down the rope. Okay. I need four Nix, Nix, and Nemia to roll initiative, please. Make sure your character is selected. Okay, and then right you click on that. And it, all right, it is near the top, right below where your name is. The center thing next to speed. Okay. Uh, okay. Initiative. Just click. Oops. Very good. Yes. And. <laughs> no. Oops. That's a real machine yeah. mistake. And then we. I've got. I've got. I've got mine ready to roll whenever uh, it's time for us to. Whenever it's time for us to roll. Okay. Pop. That out. All right, wait for, wait, and wait for, wait for him to give the if you the go ahead. Uh, so yep, yeah, because 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 we're gonna do as you guys are sending the rope quickly. There will be one round. This is why the the order mattered, folks. Uh, there will be one round of combat where the only people who can do anything to com combat the rats are going to be Nix and Nemia. Round two, I will. That will be the point where Flair and uh, oh, actually, I think you said you were going last, right? Just yeah. so you are there and there. Uh, the bard and the wizard will be landing on the ledge next, and then round three, Rectus will be able to join into the fray. Uh, I am going to uh, roll we have a for our rats, 
and they're gonna i'm gonna roll them all as so they'll go they'll go together on the same point so yeah. okay so, uh, so oh my oh crap okay we're gonna make i'm gonna, I'm gonna well, try to make well, a joke well rats <laughs> yeah i was gonna say so, uh, Thank you. Next, even I, hold on let her, let her. oh next i guess you could say this place has uh a bit of a broadened problem. They really need to get some pest control down here. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, if uh, and, and uh, Flair's on the rope still. Well, I mean, if you let me get down there, I could, you know, I could try to be pest control, but I gotta get down there first. <laughs> what exactly? What, 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 is, what is going on down there? I cannot see yet. Don't worry uh, about this. The first rat moves <laughs> okay. over here and. Uh, decides he wants to take a nice little bitey bite of Nyx. Ooh. Oh, that God. is... Cool hat. That green means that is a critical... Oh, hit. no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, shit! That is no. seven... That, that is seven points of damage to your rogue. The rats are here to play. The second uh, rat runs up and is going to attempt to bite. Oh, Nix, do you know how to uh, to do your to to lower your hit points on your token? I explained this last time, but I don't know that you're aware of how to do it. If you click on your token, there you go. That'll work. You can either write the number down or do a minus whatever for the damage. Um, okay. Um, the other rat's going to come up and attempt to bite the other rogue. Um, chomp. Ow. And your, and your AC is 14, so I believe that does hit with five points of piercing damage. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> the other rat comes up, and, and I'm, going to be, I'm going to try to be fair about this. Um, a, a, one, a one through ten... Uh, yeah. The attack is on uh, the hurt, the already hurt Nyx. The 11 through 20 on this roll, the attack is going to go against your uh, tiefling one. rogue. Here we go. Oh, Eight. no. Attacking oh. Nyx. And, um, oh, Ulti, I need you to take your hit points down uh, by five. Do you remember how to do that? Uh, no. Click on your so, token, so go to the green thing, you, and then minus five, or whatever. Yep, yeah, click on your token, click into the green circle, and if you type in minus uh, five, it will, uh, and enter, it will subtract five from your hit points. Wait, uh, wait, I don't know what I'm doing. What I'm doing. Wait, All right, so again. click on your token, and you, and you see the circles that appear above the yeah. token? Okay, so good that green That, that green five. circle, if you click in there and do, <laughs> yep, there you go. All right, so uh, chompy, chompy, bitey, bitey to the uh, the, the hooded rogue. Oh. Six. Mm. The rogue, understanding the danger, the rogue definitely uh, <laughs> moves out of the way. And these rats are going to move a little bit, mainly because I want some room for you guys to land. Yeah. All right. Uh, that puts, and I'm going to put you guys in spots as you would drop in. Right. You're next. So I need for uh, Flair and for uh, Rex to roll initiative, please. All right. Oh. Mm. Oh, wait, what? All right. Um, oh, wow. And <laughs> so I'm going to yeah. add you to the initiative order uh, mm -hmm. myself, but you did not have your character token clicked. Oh. oh wait. Oh. No, no, no. Uh, Hold on. Uh, not you. Rex rolled the 22. Sorry. Wrong yeah, person. Let me the... pull that one out. Yep. So, and it'll say it, it barks at you in the thing, too. So, I'll oh, add okay. you the turn, and I can adjust that as we need to. So, that's okay. fine. I have done I have done that a million times. And Something now we are going to uh, descending order. Okay. Um, so, uh, someone help us. We're getting killed. All right. Um, it appears, that, the bard like rolled it. The bard who everyone, the bard who everyone was giving shit to earlier, uh, is quick on his feet and is ready to go. Um, 
what would you like to do, dear Bard? It is your turn. I would like to attack the rat that is attacking our rogues. Uh, which oh, wait. You know, I wait. Stop, 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 stop. Retcon, retcon, retcon. Because okay. I didn't let the two rogues attack like an idiot. Oh, oh yeah. You guys had an attack last turn. You guys had an attack yeah, exactly. last turn. I was, so, what the I, heck, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was too excited. The rats were doing so well. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so by all means, th- it should, Rewind it should that. be at this point, uh, uh, Nemia do an attack. We'll retcon these two haven't got, we'll keep the initiative for the, you guys, but let's yeah. finish that last round. Nemia, which rat would you like to attack? You got one to your left and one to, to your right that you can reach without moving. Uh, or you can move around and move to between any of them. You can move th- past people. Um, you're if you move th- through someone as a like a human person, you uh it it the space counts twice. It's called it's called a uh, rough terrain. If you're moving mm-hmm. past a human sized thing, you won't get that. Dis- you don't. You've got plenty of room to move anywhere on this this platform. So okay, I just want to grab. Or are you gonna? Or- okay, it's like I am not having any of these reps. No, like I'm just gonna go for the. I'm just gonna try and kill one of these things. Which one? The one closer to me or the one closer to uh Which one you want? Top or bottom? Uh that one, I'm okay. Try to get... Okay, wait, what which one is closer closer to Nick? Then I'm gonna try and help him out. The, it's all three there of them are two, the two yeah, they, he's surrounded by them, so any of them to your to your left or right would work. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get the one at so the top then. The... Alright. Okay. Uh give yeah, your what are you attacking with? I guess you could um, say in my own situation, I'm in a rat. Okay, I'm going to try and dagger this fool. Okay, that is a hit. Do you remember how to roll your damage? Clicking on the word dagger. Uh, wait, so I have to hit the dagger the damage? The, the, little, the yep. little dagger thing in the middle of your oh, okay. top roll. So I hit the, the word, the word. Okay. okay. Um, that is a very good hit. However, mm. it's not dead yet. Oh, oh, fuck. All right. I'm not dead yet. Next. I feel fine. <laughs> Next, it is your attack. Okay, attacking with my rapier. Next, I tried. Which one, top or bottom? Well, you can attack any of the three. Or things. in front of you. Which one do you want to attack, to, attack with? The one in front of me. You. Okay. So when I'm asking you guys, can if you hover over anything and you hold your mouse mouse button down, you can ping a spot. So if you want to show me, there we go. Okay, that is definitely a hit. Please roll your damage. Oh, a very good hit. A very good hit Um, that unfortunately does not kill that rat. Come on! I don't remember. As a bonus action on my turn, if I have a light weapon, my other hand. I can use a bonus action to attack it. Just don't add a modifier to the damage. Uh, do you get that yet? I don't think rogues at the level one have a multi attack. I can. Uh, I can give it. A, I can. I can give it a check for you. Let me. Let me uh, just double check uh, rules. Don't want to take away an attack from you. Give me a moment. Hippos, can you not fall out of my ear while I'm doing this? <laughs> Just remembering something one of my friends told me about. Well, that, might be like a, that might be a later level, but I mean, we talked about Actually, you know what? It would be, hold on, let me look at your sheet, because as the creation of the sheet, it would be on there. Let me uh, look at that. Uh, um, also, uh, mm. also, when it's time for my war, for my Warforce Paladin to jump in, I had, had I saw the plan. <laughs> oh! I think I know uh, what he's going okay. for. Nope, I, you, first off, you don't have a multi-attack, but I'm going to let you, knowing what I'm about to tell you, and Knowing, um, I'm gonna pop this in because this is this is for both rogues, so it means you're gonna get to do a little extra damage, ulti, for your previous Yay! role. You guys have this ability. 
Sneak oh, attack. <laughs> once, once, once per turn, you can deal an extra one d six damage to one creature hit with attack if you have an advantage on the attack roll. You must use a finesse or range weapon. You don't need an advantage if if another enemy of the target, which is means one of your teammates, is within five feet, which it is. Basically, that means the rat's attention is divided between both of you. So yeah. here's how you roll. You can do forward slash R in the chat window and then space 1D6, and that will roll extra damage. Great. So what do I do? If you're in, you're in the chat window, if you do a forward slash okay. and the letter R and okay, then a so space. Forward slash. Hun. Um. Huh. Basically that, but without the without the without the yes. quotation marks. Without the parentheses. Yeah, without the parentheses. Okay, so forward slash R R one D six. Did I do it right? Did I mean You did. You did. You did. <laughs> and here here's here is the good news. Uh senior rat that was there. Is no longer there. Yay! Now yeah! I'm going to let. I'm uh, knowing what oh, we goodness. know. I'm going to go ahead and count that hit. But you would know that the, the rat in front of you, you would not have sneak attack against. So I'm going to let you change your target to the rat below you okay. on, on the map because that uh, I'm talking to Nix at this point. You did. You did your damage. You did what you needed to do. Yeah. So you did five points to the rat below you. So now, if you want to do your additional one d six sneak attack, uh, Nix, you can do that. Roll a one d six. We'll see if you dispatch the rat below you. Oh, it's the forward slash, not the uh, close forward slash. <laughs> not quite. What? One wall. One wall. The feeling. Jesus. <laughs> And that is that is just enough that this rat is also dispatched, leaving one rat remaining. Nice. Okay. Uh, Bard, now we are into the next round, and we have, let me see which rats I need to remove from the, well, I put them in as one, so we're fine. So, Bard, you have a chance to run up and potentially uh, take care of that other rat if you wish to. But you'll need to move adjacent to it. Yeah. And now we're at the top of turn order two. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks like you might not be able to use your plan after all. <laughs> So what are you gonna? Well, well to be fair. Where are you gonna move, well, Flutter? Here, uh, here, out of character here. Row, there are only three four we go. making the plan. Make the plan, execute the plan, expect the plan to go off the rails, throw away the plan. <laughs> and <laughs> and Captain Cold. Okay. What do you wish to do? What attack do you wish to make against that other rat? Okay. Uh, I wish to attack with my rapier. All right. By all means. You sure? We weren't able to get that many hits in last time. That misses the rat. Unfortunately, it <clears throat> nimbly dodges out of the way. Wait a second. But you do have its attention, so um, Which yeah, guy? now it is the it is the rat's turn. I think there's a better way to do what I'm doing here. What is that? Um, all right. So we are. He is going to do a bite against you, Bard. And what is your AC? I believe it is 14, which would be a miss. E and now, yes, uh, Namia, it is back to your turn. You may move close to the rat and attack if you wish. All right. I am going to do that. I'm hoping, this rat, I'm hoping this rat doesn't immediately die because I want to do something to at least something to one of them. Okay, so I mean, so where do I move? You can move 
any you can move anywhere next to any square next to this that is not occupied. You can move on top of these dead rats if you want to. That's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna hop over. I'll, I'll move. I'll move them away. They're gone. They're dead. Yeah. So I'm gonna hop over All here right, make, and make your attack. And I am going to dagger exactly. this thing again. Do exactly what we did last time, then. That is a hit. All right, and for damage. That is uh, not, does not kill it outright, but you do have an additional 1d6 to roll because it is surrounded by your teammates. So roll that 1d6. That is enough. All right. The, you skewer the rat. And we are out of combat, and everyone arrives there. Okay. 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 okay, okay. What, 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 one thing though. Uh, when, yep. uh, when my warforged forged uh, pal Paladin co and come comes in, and I'm gonna pop this up on pop this up on the uh, screen and put this in the uh, ad for uh, those those who aren't uh, watching in the screen share. He uh, comes comes in with an entrance like this. Of course. Uh, oh, how did I know? How did I know? <laughs> oh, is the fight already over? A pity. Yes. Yes. Give it to yes. Me. yes. I mean, I, I mean, I saw the fight. I was trying to get into it to do something, but these two ah, did all the work. Well, excuse me for being awesome. <laughs> All right. So the stairs, five foot wide. Uh, they are roughly carved, and they descend down further into the darkness. Uh, they're not dangerous to tra traverse, um, and there are three small landings that you see from your perspective beyond this third one. These stairs down here descend into a darkened area. Okay, so what... I am. Oh, he, he, he's already going on ahead, so. <laughs> so. So, yeah, do you do you wish to descend the stairs? Well, I mean, if everyone else is going, I may as well go too. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that the consensus? Okay. All right. Um. There is no real need for uh, order in this one. Uh, the stairs are pretty uneventful. Um, however, as we are getting down to these stairs here, does anyone not have... Uh, does Who has dark vision and who does not? Uh, uh, wait, dark what? Uh, it, it, dark vision. I, I it would believe, be it yes, would yes, be if you look or if you look in the right uh, box at the bottom right, it should tell you whether you have dark vision or not. Yeah, I, I believe the only vision. one who does, I believe the only one who doesn't have it, maybe uh, there may be two of you that don't. There are two of you that do not have dark vision. Well, I mean, um, there's, there's a way for me to. And uh, and uh, and uh, which which of, which of us doesn't have dark vision? So that means um, you will have to light, and I believe there's enough people with kits that you have them, uh, that you will need to light uh, a torch or two. Well, actually, I do have yes, late sir. As a, I do have late as a spell, so I was thinking of using that on my staff. Huh. Okay, and you have... Uh, oh, you have light as a cantrip, actually. So that means That's you can cast it as... At will, so you actually you could cast it on, and it does not take concentration, last for an hour. Yeah, you could put that on, like, even everyone's weapons, probably, or, or things. Okay, so we'll consider you doing that, last for an hour, before you descend down into the stairs, which I'm going to, uh, we, can, we don't need to move the party, because we'll be going into another area. As you descend into the darkness, lit lit only by your arcane light, 
that's where we call this week. We start back as you enter the dungeon of the Sunless Citadel next week. Ah. Well done. Well played. Good role play. And let me tell you, I'm going to go ahead for the people who do not have inspiration. Uh, well done on your first adventure, folks. Um, I am going to give you some... Uh, everyone who does not have it is getting inspiration. Uh, and you get inspiration. You get inspiration. You get inspiration. <laughs> and I'm and because we are playing with some new players, I want to uh, me, me, me. make you aware. Uh, yeah, and and uh, Dealbot <laughs> and uh, Flutter as well. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The stuff your 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 ability to uh, check out your surroundings, investigate, look for things. Um, as I'm, as you're going into areas, you'll need to tell me if you are, I'm being cautious. I am trying to see if anything looks, I'm, I'm trying to see if anything looks out of the ordinary. I'm trying to investigate this specific thing. Um, don't forget that you can do that. And, um, before you go down, if you would like, and I am looking at two people, mainly the rogues. If you wish to use a potion of healing, if you bought one, um, you the 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 potion of healing roll is. I'm going to do the whole thing where we do the. Um, uh, hey, uh, hey, Jacker Boy, you got some of those potions, right? So that is how many hit points you get back minus the parentheses. If you yeah. want to use a potion of healing, so do we want to do that? If you want to do that. Now you can. If someone, if you bought one and someone has one and wants to give it to the tiefling, you can. I yeah. know Nick's bought two, I believe. So, um, before we go down, does anyone want to use a potion before yeah. we end tonight? End tonight. Okay. Yeah, I would like to make you. So, so, you're, you're, yeah. so <laughs> now uh, we also have. Um, so you're aware of your healing abilities, I'm going to remind folks, um, because it will be necessary. Uh, the Paladin has a Lay on Hands ability, which is a... Uh, um, the Paladin has a pool of healing that replenishes after a long rest. Okay, so this is good for Dealbot for you to know. All right. You can restore a number of hit points per day per between long rests equal to your Paladin level, which is one right now, times five. So you can heal someone five hit points. Now you can only do that once a day between long rests. So be aware you don't want to, you know, blow all of your healing at once. You can do that. Yeah. Your other healing options that are available is, I believe, that your... Bard has the ability to cure wounds, um, but the Bard also has two spell slots at level one, and that would use one. So, yeah. um, out of game suggestion, if you got healing potions, probably good to use them now and save your spells till you need them. Um, so, uh, did I hear that Flair was giving Ulti a yep. Um, yep. healing potion? That's, so that's you need to do that roll that's in the parentheses there, uh, 2d4 plus 2. You see the, take the parentheses away, but roll that. All right, I would assume that I would be the one rolling that since, uh... Uh, nope, if she's drinking uh, it, it's her roll. Oh, yeah, sure, so, you know what? Wait, uh, so I need to do the thing? Yes, you need to roll. Yep, because you're, drink, okay. you're drinking the healing potion. Okay, so to... Bring up me, hearties, yo ho! Or... <laughs> plus two. Yep. Okay, so let's and and see what and then enter when you do that. Okay, rolling dice. So it looks like you're back to max. So you can uh, add, if you click on your thing, and you go in there. You can either type in ten or you can do plus five. Either way would work. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm back and I'm better than ever. Yeah, and you got the habit from And together. next. Nix, did you wish to use your, one of your healing potions? Uh, no, I messed it up. Are you... I messed up. Okay. Uh, uh, there we go. All right. I messed up. I, I don't fucked. 
Hold on. <laughs> and okay. Here that said, Nick, did you want to roll your healing potion? Yeah, Are you using one or not? Uh, he just did. I mean, I would assume if it's in the chat, he probably did. Yeah, he just did. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, thank you. Yep, so you guys are maxed out. And, again, you are, you you guys are, at some point, you're basically down here, going down, making your way downtown, walking fast. Get him home, man. <laughs> 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 All right, and okay. and that, that's where we'll we'll be on a, we'll be on a new map in a dungeon, starting out or starting to get the dungeon next week. Good job, guys. Yes, so, well yes. Done. so that so that will do it for this installment of the Rising Legends, ladies and gentlemen. And make sure to tune into our previous previous this part this part, part, and also oh check out how the how the token. Poker around a boy, you're at it also. Oh, took around for both hashtag cheap plug. Plug. Thank you to everyone who made it, especially thank you to our DM. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, you're legend welcome. debatable. Legend's also debatable. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That, that, that's what people said about the legend of tomorrow. That, oh, now look what happened. <laughs> well, okay, aren't like half of them dead or missing at this point from the VA? That's probably not the uh, best analogy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> like, last time I saw that, I think I recognized one person from the original, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the originals are gone, so... <laughs> Take the calorie! Take the calorie! <laughs> what, whatever. All right, guys. We will, uh, we will see same, people... same time next week. Same Legends time, same Legends channel. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, we'll see you guys, guys, guys next Friday for the next installment of this little little campaign. And make sure to tune in this Saturday for a hey, for our next edition of the end of the Toker Roundup. And we will see <coughs> you folks later. Yep. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.